Hello everyone, there's Lobby Zines here, and uh, haven't made a uh, video in about a week. Um, just been busy, I guess, uh, doing some doing some stuff. Um, been at uni, did doing whatever. Uh, um, so yeah, now uh, in this, I'll just be uh, continuing on my um, introduction to uh, basic effectors in Cinema 4D. Um, dogs in the laundry. So, probably get her to shut up. Anyway, so in this one, um, I guess this, I don't know, might be a little bit more of a complicated one. Um, it doesn't just involve putting it as a child, um, but, well, actually, it'll be in the title. So, anyway, I'm, we're doing collision. Um, so, basically, what this does, the best or most creative example I guess I've seen so far is this video where this guy has set it up so that there's this animated character he has a big hammer and he's holding this mm -hmm. shaped just piece of metal or whatever and he just brings the hammer down hits the metal and it looks like he's smithing something so I just thought that looked uh, really good and um, I won't be showing you how to do that because I'm just showing you how to use it and what you can do um, but I just thought that was a nice good example there so um so yeah, basically, get, I'll get right into it, um, don't need to delete that, uh, but I'll start off with a plane and a cube. So, I'll make the plane a bit bigger, just by dragging this stuff. Um, okay, so, I'll get the plane, that's a cube, and I'll drag it up. Now, I'll just put a texture on there just to give it a different color um, so that we can see the differences in this um, and yeah now this is really easy to use um, basically I'll go over a few of the different um, properties and all all these little subsections and stuff um, but first of all you want to start off by putting it as a I'm not too sure about this but this is what works for me so you put it as a child of the object that you want to be deformed all right now, in the when you click on the um, effector, if you go to colliders, change the solver to intersect, which is default. That's what it is. And then, with your little mouse thing here, pick the object that you want to be changed, and then pick the object that you want to affect the object that you want to change with. I don't know if I said that right, but anyway, that's what you do. And then just click on this little mouse again, and that'll get rid of it. Now, just click on this little, um, I guess, tree thing here. Just click on that. And now you'll see that when you drag this down, it's bending the plane, which, I mean, is, I guess that's pretty cool. Um, though, as you can see, if we, if I keyframe this here, then I keyframe it here. And keyframe it here again. You'll see that when you play it, it goes down and it does this weird kind of thing where it glitches above. And yeah, so to fix that, you go to collision object in your restore shape. You can have this at any value. So if you want it to look like a hammer smashing a piece of metal, then you'd use this. Take the cube as the hammer, and you'll see that when it goes down, it does that and it, 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 um. It leaves a dent in there. It doesn't move. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, um, I guess, for something that you wanted to do. So, if we just play this here, hits it, bends it down. And, yeah. Um, also, uh, if I just change this to 500, then we'll see here that then if we keyframe the cube over here, then we put the cube down. And move it across, and then we just move it up. If we play that, you'll see that it does that, and it comes over, it's down again, it goes over, and all of these things that it's done are indented. Can't tell you that well at, at the moment because of the shading, but I mean, it, it's, it's pretty easy to see. Uh, so 
I guess that's uh, kind of all. You can um, change the restore shape, so that'll give it a kind of, I guess, trampoline look. So it bends down and then pop. Yeah, so to lower that a bit. Actually, actually kind of look like a um, trampoline right there. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, I guess uh, the fall off, really, um, if you change it to surface, which I'm... Uh, maybe put the distance up to 450. Put the strength up to about here. And then... Uh, Alright, change it, sorry. Uh, change it to square. And then... If we play it, yeah, alrighty, I didn't actually know that was going to happen, but obviously it does, so it kind of ripples everywhere, um, I guess that's a, that's a pretty cool effect, I mean, I'd, I'd say that's pretty cool, da -da 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 -da. I guess you could maybe have that like some kind of water or, or something, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, maybe uh, we could put that up a bit and um, let's just see what happens. Ah, yeah, so that's kind of more subtle. So that means that if we have that down a lot, I don't know. So that'll kind of just move the area. Oh, ah, yeah, alright, that's pretty cool. As I said, I'm uh, I'm learning, I'm learning as well as I go as I do this. Okay, so that one. Alrighty. Alright, you guys you guys can do this when you're um when you're doing it. I oh, yeah, so that looks pretty cool as well. Um let's play around with this. Do whatever. Um I've basically I guess I've shown you the um the basics. Uh there isn't too much else to do. Um but Alright, so that'll only show the effect within the specified area, I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, okay, um, yeah, alrighty, so, uh, enjoy everything, um, I guess, like, subscribe, favorite, do whatever, uh, enjoy your day, um, I'll probably chuck up a video, another video pretty soon, um, I'm really trying to work on animations and stuff, um, I've, I guess I've kind of realized that it's more simple and better. I don't know if I think I said that in my last one, but I really like this guy called Mr. Yashi X3. But I mean, he probably made that when he was, when he was, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just check him out. He's, he's amazing. Um, I'm getting him to make me an intro. Um, and yeah, he's, he's really good. He's really good with 2D stuff in After Effects. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, see you guys all later and I'll be looking for competitions to enter. Um, and yeah, contact me if you want anything made. Um, I'll be happy to do it, uh, even for like cheap, five dollars, ten dollars. I don't, I don't care. Okay, I got a job. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so see you guys all later. Bye bye.